What's going on guys? This is A Sniper, and we are here with another video today. And I will be bringing all the gameplay. I just recently bought this game, uh, I think it was like three days ago. And I've just been playing it a little bit. I've played along the story a little bit. I played a little bit of multiplayer, starting getting the hang of the game. But uh, this is Battlefield 1, and we're just going to go ahead and get into the intro. And uh, show everybody what this game is, uh, started, starts off with, anyways. So this is the start of the game. This is what the campaign starts off with. So I'm not going to interrupt too much here. I'm going to let this play along. But once we get into the gameplay, then I'll start talking a little bit. Try will, or I'll try to let you view this for yourself. So first off, uh, I'll go ahead and tell that this thing going to be the most wholesome game. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and see. I think it might hop into gameplay in a second. I've already played through this once, so I know what's coming, but it's been a little bit, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen back to back. Some of this might not be new to a couple of you probably watched a little bit of the gameplay, but I'm going to give my opinion on this game in a little bit. So you how I feel about it. Maybe a little bit of positive and negative correlation here. We'll see. Alright, so we, we are jumping into the game right now. As you can tell, the game does look very good graphically. And so this is on a 1060. Uh, I've got a MSI Gaming X 6 gig 1060 version. So it's a pretty good card. It's not like a 1080, but it's a pretty good card. Not, not the best aim by any means or anything. I don't have my FPS on right now. I don't have my FPS counter on. I know that the 1060. You can play this game with just about any card it's supposed to be. It's uh, recommended that you get a 660 or above. And I know that uh, I've seen a video on the, some of the uh, testing as far as FPS testing goes. And, I'm trying to do gameplay and talk at the same time. But uh, as you can see, like whenever you, you get a red X, that means they are dying. Did you kill the person that you just shot? Kind of nice to be able to know when you kill somebody. Whenever you just injure them, it's just like uh, a white X. There's kill shots, and that was also a kill shot. That was an injury shot. Ah, uh, that's the... Uh, I don't know. What is that? Is that the flying bear? Yeah, that's a flying bear guy. So there's a flying bear guy. And you get rid of the flying bear guys by shooting them in the fuel tank. Can you 
dude, can you hold on for just for two seconds? Where are you? There is an artillery fire coming in on any time. One thing that I learned, uh, you, you can try as hard as you might, but no matter the circumstance, you will die. So, you can just hurry up and get through these real quick, or you can make them last. Uh, but it brings you through a couple lobs here. Makes you feel like you're actually getting into the game. Kind of brings you into what you can expect in this game, you know? So, one thing that I do like that they brought back is like the uh, infinite ammo, as far as like shooting, but you uh, have like a certain amount of uh, cooldown as far as shooting, and then your gun has to cool off, and then you shoot some more, because, I mean, you can say like in reality you're going to have a limited amount of ammo, but most of the times, the people on the front lines, they've got plenty of ammo, it's just a matter of until they die, kind of thing. Who's this guy? There he is. Enjoy that grenade, dude. That comes in the wall Yeah, kill this guy with the plane. I don't even know where I left off, but they're, they're in, whenever it comes down to like having ammo or whatever, yeah, it's, it's, it's debatable, but whenever you're playing a game, you don't really want to be able to like run out of ammo, so they do have a uh, cooldown on it, so if, a uh, ammo base, like you have so many shots before you run out. I'm, I'm probably like, seem like I'm jabbering on, I'm just like saying the same stuff over and over again, but I'm not really like, paying attention too much right now. I'm just getting through this. Got a little bit of a hole there. So I'm not gonna try to make these lives last time, as you can see. You died in 1918 either way. Killing machines like the tank change the shape. And the now we're going to be brought Luckily, to a bit of a vehicle based mostly. part of this game. Into a tank. She's are very powerful. I don't know if uh, you can swap back and forth. I haven't even checked yet, but uh, throughout the kit and I haven't been in one in multiplayer yet. You can probably swap back to him. Uh, back and forth to him, I guess. But I have yet to see if you can swap back and forth between first and third person and the same. I'm sure you can. But uh, in the campaign, they don't let you go into first person when you make it to like the actual tank uh, missions. And then right now, they're in, it's in first person, so if they have one thing implemented in first person, then. They must have it in those sessions. We've got them on the run. Push on. Okay, I think this the tank actually lasts a while. But I really do like this game as far as how it works. Alright, try and get him before he runs into the tank. But uh, I really do like this game as far as how it brings back the uh, Real life, uh, uh, what's going on right now? Uh, I don't even know what I'm shooting at. Shooting us there for a second. But it uh, brings back the whole World War One theme. I, I like games that bring back to the uh, old kind of uh, games as far as World War One. So if I'm getting any like mic uh, like air breathing music. But I'm just going to run you through the intro here. It's an anti-tank 
Good job. right there. Let's open a path for our lads. Move up with the rest of the army. So you got two main cannons, by the way. You got the cannon, and then you got a machine gun. And these are like the giant Zeppelin. Let's go on. Oh, yep. Alright, so we got get more or something, I don't even know, but he did. That's all I know. Instead of adventure, we found fear. In a war, the only true equalizer is death. So this is only part of the game, uh, mustard gas. I don't know. It's necessarily supposed to be mustard gas because if it was mustard gas, and as soon as you breathe any in, you're pretty much done for. But in this, you can it just like hurts you for a little bit. You can put your gas on, if your mask on, then you're good. Otherwise, uh, you'd be done for. This whole place got artillery in the last time, I wanna see. So this is a theory, I'm just gonna run in and die. Go ahead and assassinate that guy with the shovel. Yeah, so. Either way you die, doesn't really matter. But, uh, like, is this the same thing? Am I gonna wait until I get artillery? Maybe like if you die before and then get the, the main story over. You die too fast and it'll actually like throw you into another person that's alive in that area. I'm gonna shoot just the fire thing, just the fuel cell. I don't know why this doesn't go through and I was a hit. I'm slowly burning to death. Alright, here we go. On to the next game. Alright, so there's one thing. Enjoy your grenade. Did it with my first life. So, the intro is pretty cool though. That brings you through multiple lives and shows you like different things that were going on in the front line. They push. Don't know how they would have survived that. We push. But uh, apparently they did. Every once in a while, we push hard enough that the light breaks through the cloud. Another friends. The war Look at there. War over. <laughs> Just out of reach. The war is the world, and the world is the war. But behind every gun sight is a human being. We are those people. We are the jaded. We are the naive. We are the honorable. And the criminal. We are the bound for legend and the lost to history. We are the knights of the sky, the ghosts in the desert, and the rats in the mud. These are our stories. That's one thing the campaign does is like goes through a bunch of stories of different uh, soldiers. That's what I was talking about earlier. The Whole, like tank mission. There's one of them that pretty much their whole story is throughout a tank, and that's the first story, I guess you could say. But uh, I didn't want to spoil too much of it, so I was just going to go through the intro. So that was Storm of Steel, and then you got these others. Which the first one is the tank one, 
and I might actually run through them and make a whole series over going through the campaign. Uh, we'll see about that, but my next video I might actually uh, go through a rundown on what it's in my computer. But, as I was saying earlier, uh, I'm using a 1060, but they've done tests uh, where you can use just a minimal graphics card, even just like a 660, which I used to have a 750 Ti, which is around like 100 bucks now. Uh, and that would run it fine. And a 660, I don't even know the pricing on those, but that runs it pretty well. Apparently, like if you're uh, running 1080p, you're not going to be able to run like 1440 or 4K or anything, but be able to run like 1080 on medium settings at like 60 FPS, I believe it was, like 50 or 60. I don't know, it said it lagged pretty bad whenever it got down to like explosions and stuff, but I don't know. There's not to, they've optimized this game pretty well as far as what graphics cards you know, like minimally can use. And uh, so you don't really need something top of the line for just playing this game in 1080. And so my opinion on this game so far, back out to the menu real quick. So if I go into the multiplayer and check on anything, I like the menu, I can say that. Uh, you can see like all of our, or all of the, say so, it runs through, it's got like Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, connects them all together. One thing, uh, another thing, anyways, it uh, runs through like a companion app that you can download on your phone, it's called Companion something, like Battlefield 1, and you can use that to set up your uh, loadouts and stuff for multiplayer and create badges or, uh, what is it, like a, I don't know what those are called, like a uh, personal badge, I guess, you can slap on your tanks or your person or whatever you want, whatever you fancy, but I do like the World War One theme, and I do like how it's more uh, fast-paced than some of the other, like, eh, it depends, it's a big map, uh, some of the maps are big, Completely depends on what you're playing too, if you're playing Conquest or Capture the Flag or anything. But I can't really give you the best opinion on this game because I haven't played it for that long. But as I was saying before, let me bring it back and uh, talk about minimal requirements, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of ranting on about this point. <laughs> uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. I think we've uh, covered just about all the topics that we needed to, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in maybe a video of the next campaign video, or campaign story. I've already completed the tank one, but we will see. My granddad fought in the Civil War. Maybe. Before I left, he told me what it takes maybe to I'll stay bring alive. Maybe I'll bring him back. Play through the other ones, nothing. but we'll see. I don't want to like, spoil it for anybody, but that's the point of kind of saying what it is in the title but I will see you and I probably said that so many times this video but anyways as I say it again and I will see you guys in the next video if you like the content most likely I would say that I'll probably be getting better at making videos I like to say that anyways because I will slowly but surely get better at not fumbling with my words and actually figuring, or figuring out what I want in my video. And but if you would like to stick around and join me for the next campaign video or anything else, if you like my content, just go ahead and make your make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I uh, will probably have a link to my graphics card in the description as well as my Steam account if you want to add me and uh, let's approach it but I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next episode sorry that I rambled quite a bit this episode if y'all stuck to the end make sure you uh, go ahead and throw a like down or a dislike if you just don't like my rambling or you can like it for that matter but uh, if you made it this far just go ahead and comment I don't know, banana in the comment section. There's a banana in the comment section somewhere. That'll make me happy. 
So, <laughs> as that, a bit of randomness on the end. See you guys in the next episode, and peace out, guys.